my artists. Are we all ready to draw an emu? Let's get started. We're gonna start right in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna use my Sharpie, but you should feel free to use a pencil so that you could erase if you need to. And then you're gonna want some crayons, markers or colored pencils nearby to add color. But we are gonna start with drawing. I'm gonna draw with my Sharpie because it's easier for you guys to see. So I'm gonna go right in the middle of my paper and we are gonna start with the emu's beak. And I'm going to make a line going from one side to the other horizontally, but it's not gonna be a straight line. It's going to be a line that has a curve or a bump right in the middle. Now it doesn't have to be exact. We're drawing kind of a, a character. So it doesn't have to look exactly like a real emu. All right, once I've done that part, on either side, on both sides, I'm gonna curve around and I'm going to curve around. Even those curves don't have to match exactly. After I have that, I'm going to continue and I'm going to come down almost to a point, but I'm gonna curve and back up. All right, or you can start on this side, come down, curve and back up. Then I'm going to draw another line that follows along and that's going to be where my emu's beak would open up. And at the top, I'm going to make two little ovals that I'm gonna kind of fill in for my emu's nostrils. Okay, so here's the beak. And remember a beak for a bird is a nose and a mouth combined. And we can see on here, here's the nostrils and here's the mouth. So that's the emu's beak. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give our emu two eyes. And we have our beak in the middle, the eyes are gonna go right above it. Now I'm gonna draw some ovals for my eyes. You could make them circles too. They don't have to be exact. Inside, I'm gonna make another oval. And then inside that, I'm gonna make an even smaller one. Now I'm gonna use my Sharpie. You can do this with pencil or you can go back with crayon or a marker. And I'm going to fill in the middle sized circle. I did it with black. You can make yours a different color. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, okay? All right, so now I've got my emu's eyes and I've got my emu's beak. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding the fun part, which is going to be the feathers that go all around the emu. Now, if you remember, I had said, this does not have to be realistic, so you don't have to do realistic emu colors. You can make this emu as colorful as you want. I am just gonna take my Sharpie before I start with the colors, and I'm gonna give my emu some little lashes or feather lines around its eyes. I'm gonna do some below, and I'm gonna do some above. All right, next, I'm gonna take my box of crayons. Now, I am going to make my emu super colorful, but before I even do that, I am going to color my emu's beak. And I'm gonna make the beak orange, okay? You can do an orange color if you want. You could do more of a dark orange. You could do more of a light, like a yellow orange. Totally up to you. I'm going with an orange orange that you could change this. I am gonna fill in my emu's beak so they do not see any white space. There's my emu's beak. Then I'm gonna take some colors and I'm gonna get started with some fun feathers. Emu's feathers are almost like wild hair. I'm gonna do some in the middle. I'm gonna do some coming from underneath my emu's beak. I'm filling around the sides. All right, there's one color. I'm not stopping with one color. I'm gonna switch over to a different color.
Now, this is all around my emu's face. I'm gonna still keep it going and adding some more colors to my emu's face. But the emu has kind of a longish neck, so I'm gonna start filling in some feathers. We're not seeing the whole emu's body in this picture. So I'm gonna make a row of these lines to be like emu's feathers, not quite as big as the emu's head. And the same thing, use whatever colors you want. Make it really fun and colorful, or you can make these like stripes of different colors if you want. I haven't used a darker purple, I'm gonna add this one. Now I need to keep adding lots and lots of lines so that I make sure it is filled with feathers and you don't see a lot of the white space in between because you want this to start to look like an emu. So I'm even getting closer to my emu's beak, my emu's eyes, so that it really looks like the whole face is filled with feathers. And you wanna make sure that you're filling it in so it looks like your emu's body is connected. There's no right or wrong colors. You get to choose whatever you want. But I would make all your feathers come all the way down off the paper, because really, this is where the emu's body would be. And you don't want that part to be missing. I'm going around my emu's eyes. You could pick just a few favorite colors you'd like to do, or all different colors. And I am going back, you can see over and over again, to make sure I'm not leaving a little white space or too much white space because I really want my human space to look very filled in. my cute, funny emu. I cannot wait to see all of yours.